Hey everyone, this is Scarlet with a new Let's Play. Now, I just can't seem to get enough of Capcom, so decided to throw in Haunting Ground. This is not a blind Let's Play, I've played this game probably a billion times. As evidenced by the fact that I have everything unlocked. So, it'll be mostly a snarky Scarlet Let's Play. We're gonna do it on hard mode, because normal's easy for me. Actually, hard mode's easy for me too. But anyway... And here we come, to the most unsanitary of basements. Seriously, this shit looks like it should be in Silent Hill. Got us some pig carcasses, some people carcasses. I think that's a people carcass, it looks like a torso. Some very, very hairy ape man. Oh, that's what happened to Bigfoot then. I don't know what it's gonna look like on the recording, but on my television, that meat looked really, really maroon. And it looks like we found our next meal! Soylent Green, it's people. I don't- you don't want to touch that debilitas, you don't know where it's been. Oh no, I'm scared of lightning! Let's run out into the lightning! Because that's smart, right? Ah! <gasps> you having some difficulties there, Fiona. Also, it was entirely unnecessary for you to scream or gasp three times in rapid succession, which was actually just one time that the game saw fit to play t three times instead. That was one hell of a party last night, Fiona, wasn't it? We got naked in, uh... The weirdest sex dungeon. Oh, who didn't lock her cage? You can't let the animals run around. First time I played this, I just couldn't stop staring at her ass. Not because it's just the largest thing there, but because that is the silkiest possible cheat. Like seriously, I want that cheat for my bed. It's just made of silk. Oh look, Jam! And Puppy. Yes, you nearly got mauled by a dog. Don't freak out. I think you'd be more worried about the fact that you're naked except for the silkiest of silky sheets. Huey. Got some gratuitous thigh action there. And of course we need, you just have to have the ass shot. Oh my god, Capcom. It's not as bad as Blood Rain, but still. One thing I love about this game is that there's no loading. I mean, it says loading there, but it's pretty much the only loading bar that you get the entire game. Okay, how do I, there we go, that's what, that was run. The rest of the game just loads as you go, so you never get any loading scenes. <clears throat> Let's see here. I have not played this game on this TV yet. It's very, very pink. And I don't know why, but it's still very, very pink. Probably not for you guys, though. Alrighty then. Oh, not pink anymore. Alright, cutscene action. That... Those intro cutscenes were not indicative to the graphics of the rest of the game. I actually kind of prefer these in-game graphics.
You're being watched. You should probably fix that. It's usually not a good thing when somebody's watching you when you're pretty much naked. <laughs> you're not creepy at all, Danny. Not at all. Hi, Danny. I've gathered some clothes for you. Well, that was nice. Seeing as somebody saw fit to not give us any after taking them. And then putting us in the most unsanitary of basements. Wait, don't go. Probably got a urinary tract infection or something at this point. Um, excuse me, but where are we? And how did I get here? It really was one hell of a party last night, Fiona, wasn't it? Yes, much. You need to start partying late at night. i been here for a while. I will make sure she stays comfortable. I don't think I like your idea of comfort, Danny. Especially because you just came out of nowhere. <sighs> Obligatory flashback! Right, we have to put on clothes. Clothes, lady, put them on. Tick tock. Somebody is watching you. It's a creeper from behind the painting. And you just dropped your sheets. And now you're naked. Oh god, this... this cutscene creeped me out when I first played the game. I mean, there is somebody watching her from behind the painting while she dresses. And he is Creeper. Oh, I want those boots. In fact, I want her entire outfit, despite the fact that skirt is way too short. Especially because there was no... There was at least not a bra in that pile. Likely not panties, either. Just the skirt, the boots, the socks, the shirt. Some very, very What's large titty blowing, hon. I remember being in the car with. With your stomach? Why was your stomach outside your body? Oh, that guy? You're in the car with that guy, huh? Well, maybe that's why he's watching you when you're naked. Blah, 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 blah. Things I already know. Alright, I've got all the costumes unlocked already. So, we're gonna change clothes. And I'm just going to showcase this one for a second. It's not the one I'm going to end up with, but just look at it. I'm a fucking frog. It's great. I'm just a frog. Okay. Even better. What button is it? Ooh, sleepy me. There we go. I even sit like a frog. Okay. I'm not gonna run around with that or I'm not going to be able to concentrate on the game. We are, however, going to wear this. Same outfit as before, her hair is just down and she has no shoes on. I just like this outfit for more, I just don't know why. Look, Fiona, raspberry jam! No, it's raspberry jam. What else did you think it was, dumbass? The fu- I never realized that there was just heavy breathing there. Surprise! 
You need a bra, hun. Seriously. And pretty much every cutscene where she moves, her boobs jiggle like jello. As a person who possesses a set of boobs, I can tell you, they do not jiggle like jello. Dead or alive Extreme Beach Volleyball? Lies. Debilitis, I am not your doll. You cannot squeeze me until my eyes pop out. It's not very nice. <laughs> and here we have the game's first stalker. So, the stalkers can be kind of fun. And by kind of fun, I mean fuck. Uh, they just chase you around the mansion. It's very Clock Tower-esque. You gotta go find, you know, hide points and, and stop them from killing my ass. Like, yeah. Whenever you hear the particular stalker's music, like the current music is for the current stalker, you gotta run! I can technically fight them. But I'm a wuss, so we're gonna hide under the bed. He's in here somewhere, I heard him open the door. Where are you, Debbie? There you are. I've never had him find me under the bed, at least not this early in the game. So we'll see if he actually finds me or not. Whew. It's 1 a.m. here. How are you all doing? I don't even know why I'm up this late recording this. I just wanted to play this game and figured why not record it. That end is fairly short. I've actually managed to beat this game in little, just a couple minutes over an hour. I'm not going to do that here, because that involves skipping all the cutscenes and glitching the game. Well, actually no, that one doesn't involve glitching the game. But anyway, if it's not Coast Clear, you're lying to me, Gabe. See, this game will say Coast Clear, but so long as there's no background music playing, he could just walk right back in. There he is! How you doing, Debbie? When I first played this game, it might have freaked me out a little bit, but at this point, I just don't- I just stopped caring. Hi, Debbie. You do realize there's a bed right the fuck here, right? Okay, for a second there, I thought he was gonna find me. That'd be bullshit. Coast is not clear. Stop lying to me, game. Tick, tock. Tick, tock. Tick, tock. Tick, tock. Can I play yet? Thank you, game. La la la. You have very loud footsteps even when you're not wearing the boots, Fiona. Maybe it's flat feet. See, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to go in here. Now the first puzzle here, you, what you gotta do is you gotta give a plate key to a golem to get it to move out of the way so you can keep going. Now, there's a couple ways you can do it. Oh well, yeah. It has alphabetic keys. So nothing can have alphabetic keys but a computer. Honey, I turned 22 this month in 2014 and even I know there used to be typewriters. Anyway. The you're supposed to find out the name of the golem. The name of the golem is Emeth. You can either solve the puzzle by putting Emeth in it, which makes it move to the side, or you can give it meth. We're going to give it meth. Because meth. Meth makes it explode. In an astoundingly accurate portrayal of what meth can do to a person. Hmm. Alright, and because I've played this game so many times, I'm going to make all the other ones because I don't want to backtrack. Um. Uh, 
Bear with me, folks. This is gonna take a second. Sulfur's with a P. Every time I come to this point, I can never remember if sulfur is F U R or P H U R. <laughs> I'm terrible. Mercury. Powder. How many have I made? Fuck, wrong button. There we go. Um, Artemis Morgan Alchemia Powder Morgan. I'm missing one. This is going to bug me. Well, I don't think it matters. So I'll just make the other ones. L. And rest. <laughs> 